Now, from the station that's on your side, this is News 19 WLTX. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Nat Roars. Cleanup is underway at Trinity Episcopal Cathedral Cemetery. The historic Sumter Street Cemetery was damaged yesterday as severe weather moved through the Midlands. High winds toppled a tree onto some gravestones. The cemetery is the resting place to some of the most well-known names from our state's long history, including six former governors, as well as General Wade Hampton and Dr. Thomas Cooper. The cathedral's communication director tells us the trees in the cemetery have as much history as those buried there. The live oaks at Trinity are older than our building, and we're getting ready to celebrate our 200th anniversary. Um, they are a, a characteristic part of life in the Trinity community. And unfortunately, uh, the one in the cemetery has uh, developed a few problems. Uh, it had a major branch come down last winter, and yesterday afternoon, um, presuming as a result of uh, the heavy rains we had yesterday, Another lateral branch came down in the cemetery as well. Such a shame. Beautiful tree. Trinity is the oldest surviving sanctuary in the capital city. The building was dedicated back in 1814. And meteorologist Amy Aronson warned us about that severe weather yesterday at noon. So, Amy, are we expecting any more rainy weather this afternoon?